Hunger, greed, want, need, nature, nurture, he never meant to hurt her, it was never meant to go further, he was born in too deep, how was he supposed to escape the streets, influenced by a world that would guide him, he grew up with no parents to confide in, the world set a shining example, so was it his choice or the life he was bound to? She awakes early. She creeps around the house quieter than a mouse. Slippers silence her steps. But within her grows regrets. She's made her bed and now has to lie in it. Though her bed now has a lion in it. This lion's a coward but like most a bully. And this lion stops her from living fully. He restricts her social life. And it's no use arguing, cause he's always right. And if he can't win with words, he'll win with fists. She's beaten by the same hand she once held and kissed. Her fingers rifle through a drawer of finger-painted rainbows. In this one drawer is all her hope. A drawing of mummy and daddy holding hands. She's come into contact with them, but not the way her child planned. See, there once was a beam of light in their lives, but with her absence, the colours drained. The blue skies grey, the lot of things he swore would never happen, happened. Like his wife's beautiful brown eyes blackened. And his world got smaller overnight, to four grotty walls, but he found sanctuary framed in the fridge light. And as he consumed beers, beers consumed years, but his liver wasn't the only thing it was rotting. It worked its way into his memories and soon the best parts of him were forgotten. There was a rawness to his actions as captions of a past life flashed through his mind and he tried to deny their existence. And you have to admire her persistence. It was inspirational, but bravery was her greatest flaw. See, this one time she packed the bags and headed to the door, but the spark that was once a fire inside her reminded her of what they had once been. And okay, chances of returning to that weren't strong, but she was willing to hold on to hope. So she convinced herself she could cope. A few brown eyes turned black were more than worth it if it could revive what they lacked. But she knew scars and bruised tissue wasn't the real issue, it wasn't skin deep. It was the lack of what they had once put to sleep. So what once filled her heart with love now filled it with grief, till one night, when it escalated beyond repair as he threw her to the ground and gripped her by the hair and she became loose by struggling and writhing and ran to the kitchen and just so happened to pick up the first thing. It was a knife and as he ran towards her she plunged that knife deep. There was a release of breath but it wasn't a scream as he fell to the floor, collapsed and distraught and summoned the strength to crawl towards her broken body. She'd pierced her left breast and with her one last breath she said this hurts but not as much as you hurt me. But I'll always love you. I hope you still love me. And before her life was released the coward found the courage to speak he said I love you. And as police broke into the room lit by the light of the moon he saw himself for what he really was. A murderer with blood stained hands and in them his wife's body. Before he was tackled to the ground, he gently whispered, I'm sorry, hunger, greed, want, need, nature, nurture, he never meant to hurt her, he was never meant to go further, he was born in too deep, how was he supposed to escape the streets, influenced by a world that would guide him, he grew up with no parents to confide in, the world set a shining example, so was it his choice, or the life he was bound to?